Hey guys, uh, in this video I wanted to show you how to set up our Dana Dolly system. Uh, this is what we use in our broadcast location for camera two. What the Dolly does is it creates a nice smooth cinematic uh, view. The Dana Dolly is easy to set up and so I wanted to uh, give you just a quick instructional video so that you can go back and reference it. And if you're not a part of uh, the Block Search production and you just stumbled upon this video, thanks for joining us. I do this for our team, but you are more than welcome to go check out other videos and I hope that they help you. So. Uh, to get started, there's just a few uh, pieces of equipment that we have. Um, everything is on the floor here, and so I, what you'll see right here is uh, there is a case that we bought that has everything um, that the actual dolly system goes into. We have our own uh, tripod head that we got. This is the uh, Manfrotto 509 HD. And then we have this bag right here of uh, all the poles, and then we have three stands, two for either end and uh, the center support. So uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna open up this bag right here. So this is all of our aluminum tubes. And so basically, uh, this is a nice way for us to store them all together. Each tube will have one of these uh, rubber caps over the male end, and then there are female ends. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out all the tubes, you can set these just off to the side, make sure you save where they are so you can get them after service or after the event. There are these kind of PVC ends inside this bag, and so they have occasionally fallen out on us or uh, we've just accidentally taken them out, uh, but those can stay in there. They kind of just allow the tube to sit sit in the bag nice and neat. So now we can set this off to the side. At this point to screw these together, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at what you have and you're gonna figure out how it's going to piece together. So it's gonna be two separate runs uh, of three each. So uh, what I'll do is I'll take this one that has a female end <clears throat> with this male end here and then this other one has a female so that can go on this side here. Same thing here. I want to make sure I have all the right pieces. I actually need to put that one up there and this one here so that I have female, male, male, female, male, female, female, male. So at this point, we're going to thread these together. Uh, this is something that you're going to want to do uh, um, just carefully because the threads are pretty thin. So if it's not going in, do not force it, do not over tighten it. I like to lay them flat on the ground and then just kind of spin them until you get it. So here we go. We're gonna do this, uh, this first one here. So again, laying it flat on the ground, I'm just gonna go ahead and start spinning these <clears throat> righty tighty, lefty loosey. And sometimes it can be a little bit challenging Sometimes it's better to take it off the ground. Sometimes it's better on the ground. And there you go. Once it starts threading, you're good to go. And then again, you do not have to over tighten it. Just make it snug and you're good. That's it. So um, we'll do the rest of these and then we'll get it up in the air. All right, now that these are uh, uh, threaded together, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go set my two end stands up uh, first, because now I have, at least I know how long this is gonna be. Now putting up the stands in front of it is gonna be relatively easy because I know what, how long it's gonna be. So these are stands that we got from Ameri American Grip, I believe. Uh, this head right here is, is purposely meant just for the Dana Dolly system. So you can also use basically any studio stand, but these are specifically made for this. So I'm gonna unthread these legs. Make sure that the bottom is tight and then taking this off the ground a little bit, tighten this here. And then we'll put one on this end. I'll raise it up like right about here. 
we have to remember that when we are setting this up, the um, actual uh, platform that the camera goes onto and then the camera itself adds about a foot of height. And we need, at this point, we need to reach our lens in front of the camera. So you don't want to build it too high that, it's, that you can't reach the lens during the service. So we'll go ahead and set this other one up here. So at this point, you're just going to eyeball the height, trying to make them the same height. But this is it. I like to point the center leg of this stand. So if I grab it and bring it right here. I like to point this center portion towards the inside, leaving two legs pointing um, out. Now we're gonna get the pole holders that go on either one of the stands. So now we're gonna go back over to this case right here. We're gonna take this top section off that has the wheels in it. I'm gonna lay this on the ground so the wheels do not get dirty. Then on the bottom of the case, as you can see, Right there, they lay inside that insert. Take two of these out, and we're going to put one on either side. So, loosening up the back clamp right here. This should slide right in. It doesn't move back and forth. And then you can tighten that. All right, same thing on the other side here. I'm going to drop this in right here, and then tighten it from the back side, right? All right, so at this point, we're gonna put our poles into the stand. So I'm gonna take one pole. Now this is kind of better with somebody else with you. So if there's somebody, a buddy hanging around and you wanna grab them, go and do that. What I would do is holding the pole towards the middle, kind of just lightly tighten the clamp on one side so it doesn't fall and you can Walk it to the other side, making sure that the pole doesn't fall out. Slide it towards the other stand. Set the pole into this side. And then begin to thread that clamp. Again, this is probably the only part that I would say you probably need to grab a buddy to do it. Everything else is pretty much you can set up by yourself which is great because obviously other people are setting up, other volunteers are setting up other cameras, right? So there you go, we can tighten that. It's a little bit crooked, so I'm gonna adjust the stand, pull it in so to make sure it's got uh, the full pole length in there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down this clamp. Again, you don't have to go crazy tight, just hand tight. If you gotta use your strength and your muscles, you're going too tight, only needs to be loosely tightened. So there you go. I'm going to just adjust that so that uh, this pole stand here is perpendicular to that pole. Right. So do this one more time. Put that clamp together and then slide one end in so that's able to rest there. Walk it to the other side and then making sure that it doesn't drop from the other side and go ahead and tighten the one side. Once tight again, we can go over to this other side. Great, at this point, now we have uh, the poles on the stands. You're probably looking from that view and saying, Steven, that looks incredibly crooked. If I put the, the uh, actual system on here, it's gonna just roll to one side. So we're gonna level it out before we put the camera on. Again, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna level it out before we put the camera on. You see, I put it in the middle and it's already sliding to one side. So I probably know just off of that, that it's crooked. What we're gonna do is I pull up the level app on my phone. I put it right here and you can see minus one. If I slide it to one side, I'm well, sure it might look better there as I go out of frame, uh, but it's not quite level. As I go here, now it's negative one. So leaving that on the dolly, I'm gonna go ahead 
take the lower side or I could take the higher side and bring that side down. I'm going to bring this side up to make sure it's level. So I feel like that looks pretty good right there. Don't judge me. The camera might be crooked itself. But now you can see I have this right here. It's coming back this way a little bit, but it stopped. So you can do the same thing. Just make sure wherever I kind of roll it, it doesn't slide too much. Maybe we're going back the other way a little bit. So let's try right there. No matter where I go, it stays level. Now it might be bowing towards the center. So no matter what side you put it on, it's gonna come back to the middle. And for that, we have a third stand. Now this is a stand that's different than the other ones. This is your more traditional C stand. For this one, you gotta lift up this portion and then the three legs spread out. You wanna get them to the position that they lock into each other. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this in the middle. What I like to do is that you gotta make sure that the operator side that there isn't legs kicking out towards you. If I set this up like this, I'm walking across and I'm going to be kicking into the stand. We don't want that. So make sure it's clear on the operator side and the C stand is in the middle. Then on the back portion of this case, all the way towards the back is this center support. It has velvet on either side. So you can go ahead Put this on and then centering it, you loosen this, you bring it up to the, to the rods and just, you know, put a little bit of pressure putting it up so that to make sure that you're, you got enough that you're uh, kind of making it level. That way it's not sagging in the middle and that brings a nice, nice support there. All right. Now that that is done, we are going to set up our camera. So uh, within this case, there are three different size bowl mounts. And so a bowl mount is what you put on the top of this that allows a, a, bowl, um, adapt, a bowl fluid head to sit in and clamp in. So there are three sizes. There's a large one, small one, oh, sorry, a medium one, and then a small one. So um, we are using the medium sized one, so I'll leave the small one in there and the big one. Now, if we got a different tripod head, it might change, but that bowl adapter sits on top here, and then you're gonna take this washer, and you're gonna take your fluid head. This is what the camera itself sits on, right? We're gonna screw off this adapter, or clamp, I guess you could say. This is going to sit into the bowl mount. The washer is going to go up first, and then we're going to clamp this right underneath it. So you see that green dot right there? That's a level bubble. So you'll use this, get the, get the bubble right in the middle, put the fluid head into the bowl mount, take your washer, put that on first. I'm going to face the level towards me, so the level's on this side. The pan bar is set up backwards, but that's okay. And I'll just start threading this clamp down. Just get it started. And then as I get closer to it, actually securing the tripod head to the bowl adapter, I will do two things. I'll make sure that the clamp, or I'm sorry, I'm, I'll make sure that the washer is being fully um, covered by the clamp underneath the bottom, so it's a nice secure fit. And I'll make sure that the tripod head is level itself. So once I have it almost tight, I will level the tripod head and then I'll secure the clamp. So now the tripod head is uh, level. I'm at this point, I will move this pan bar so it's back towards me, the operator. And then I'll make sure that as I go left to right, right, as I, as I pan my camera, the bowl adapter isn't moving. 
because it's well clamped down, but the bowl inside the bowl adapter is able to move and move smoothly. Or sorry, the, uh, the actual tripod head itself can move left to right without the bowl moving inside the bowl adapter. So at this point, I'll just check and make sure that my range is good, it feels good. I can go back and forth nice and smoothly. Then the final thing is, the last thing in this case is this uh, monitor adapter. And so there are a bunch of mounting points on either side, left and right, and then there's one in the back and there's one in the front. And so you as the camera operator can set this up however you want to. But what you'll do is you'll take this wing nut off here. I am uh, right-handed. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right-handed. So I'll use that on the pan bar and I'll, and I'll hold the, the uh, lens with my left. So taking off this wing nut, I like to put this monitor right here so that I'll put this monitor right here so that when the monitor goes on this stand right here, my, my arm can reach past it and I have the monitor sitting right in front of my face instead of having to, to look at the camera and then reach past. It's a little bit more uh, natural, a little more comfortable. Now again, you can move this however you want to. Some people want to put the monitor this way and then they, they're able to reach the lens better and they actually push this left to right where some people like to stand right behind it. Uh, again, it's a matter of preference and what makes you feel comfortable and makes you feel like you can do the job the best that you can. So that is basically at this point, you'd put the camera on there. You will uh, counterbalance it to make sure that the lens and the battery are balanced well and the camera doesn't fall forward or fall backwards um, without you actually moving it there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So at this point, what we'll do is we'll break this down, which will basically be just the exact opposite of the way that we tore it down. I will show you uh, where everything goes inside the case when we get there. So I'm gonna tear this down and then we'll put everything away where it's supposed to go. So, so we got almost everything torn down except our stands. We'll separate our poles, put them back in the bag, and then we'll pack up the case. When it comes to these stands right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this portion that is lifted up, you go ahead and collapse that. Then picking it up, you can loosen up that uh, clamp right there. And then you actually loosen up the bottom one too. And then you should be able to slide this entire pull back, and that is the smallest that we can make that. At this point, you'll clamp both of these. Make sure everything's nice and secure. And it, nothing should, the legs will, will open a little bit, right? But this is pretty much all secure. It's not gonna go, when you pick it up, one pole is not gonna go sliding out, right? So that's how you tear down those stands, and you make them as compact as possible. So again, Loosen that one, loosen this, loosen this, bring that pole, center pole all the way down, and then tighten one, two, and the one on the top, make sure that that's not gonna fall out. There you go, got that. All right, now we're gonna put these poles away. So I got my pole bag back out. I got my blue caps ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and separate it just as it was. If one of the uh, blue kind of like center adapters, it's like the male to male end adapter comes out, just thread it back into one of the sides and make sure that it doesn't get lost.
All right. Now we'll put these caps back on. Only the male sides, so the threaded sides, you put those back on there. There's um, a sort of uh, lubrication that the thread has, so it goes in nice and smooth. And these caps keep it from getting on your hands. So, put as many caps as we can. We're missing, we're missing one. It might be inside this bag. So, I know it's inside this bag, I can feel it. All right, guys, so I actually stand corrected. Almost every single one of these um, has a cap for either side, both the male and female. So um, now we're just gonna slide these into the bag. So one at a time, slide it in. All right, so now that all these poles are in there, I'm gonna fold this cap over. And then these poles roll up here. And then we have these little clamps here that you will then clamp and tighten both sides. The reason why you fold the, the flap over is that uh, in case the bag ends up like this, all the poles don't go sliding out. So now this is done. And we get the, the part for this case. And so, all right, so now we're gonna put everything inside this case. Put this case right about here so we can see it easier. All right, so we have the centerpiece right here. That slides in at the top. Then we have our monitor mount. Slides in right there, right in the center. Then we have our bowl adapter. Slides in right there, left side. The washer has a small little slot right there. Perfect size for it. Then. We have the mounts that the poles go into. Those go this side down. Here you go again, second one. Just like that. And then now, last thing, the one with the blue wheels. Remember when you're uh, taking this on and off, of the dolly, lay it face down so that the wheels don't get dirty or messed up. This is going to sit right there. And that is our bin right there. This now can get locked up. It's got wheels on the backside, little red button to open up this. And go ahead and roll this to our storage closet or if we're in an event, it goes to a truck. Uh, right now, uh, we take this fluid head, we put it into a bin with all of our broadcast stuff. Uh, but this does not get stored inside that case, unfortunately. And that is it, guys. That is our Dana Dolly system. If you guys have any questions, please drop it down below. Again, if you're not watching this and you go to a different church or maybe you just do video work um, on the side or something as part of your career, uh, I'll drop down the links of where I got everything from the stands to the Dana Dolly to the fluid head, um, all of those things. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions in the comments, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you and see you next time.